This face is the face you see when you die. In a pit of fire because you fell down off the scaffolding like a fucking moron. While trying to block a thousand bullets. Hi everybody, I'm Ray, I died. And I'm Ada. And this is the continuing from the last checkpoint. Oh fuck, it's like Jesus just rose up and gave me life again. Well, time to kill people. <laughs> I like my gun shooting, it's very fancy. Because it's too many, two bullets. Too fast. Too, too furious. Too... Uh, too modest. I'm absolutely fucking damn it! <laughs> wow, you have a lot of body armor. There we go. <laughs> it was the magic touch. <laughs> Excuse me. That was the magic phlegm. It keeps me from living. All right, no checkpoints used. Fuck. That's gonna be uh, difficult to do. Well, at least you just need one more non-lethal. There's supposed to be a guy over here, right? No. Maybe? There's some flies. Hmm. You know, I told you off camera about that p pile of junkyard food that that lady wasted that was a cook person. I forgot to mention there's like lots of flies there, which threw me off because I hadn't seen flies in that game at all. You're talking about uh, Breath, Breath of the, of the Wild, Wild, yeah. Mm. Oh wow, I got him. <laughs> sometimes it looks like a mist, but then sometimes I'm a fog. There we go. Ah! Fuck, I forgot about where everybody's placed! Shit! I'm gonna die. <laughs> so, I found out something kind of funny. You know, I've told you there's basically ways to get elementally invincible armor, like fireproof, shockproof, heatproof, wait, I already said fire, uh, uh electricproof, because I told you I wore rubber armor with that upgrade on, and it was like, I couldn't be lightning anymore. No lightning anymore, I can survive a thunderstorm. Lightning storm, that's better. Yes, although you only told me about the thunder. You didn't say that the other ones Yeah, the elements there are some other armors you can obtain that when you wear the full set and all of them are upgraded to two stars, yeah, you can be fireproof and frostproof. Are there any benefits to uh, going past two stars other than pure defense? Just defense. It's just that the Great Fairy specifically told me if you upgrade them twice, then they'll be able to get like a set bonus. I was like, oh, hey, uh, thanks okay, for the detail. From personal experience, you haven't seen anything that would suggest there's bonuses beyond that? Nope. Fuck. I almost forgot about you. Well, that stinks. Especially considering that not uh, all armor sets come with bonuses. Yeah, really wish that the armor came with a defense boost or something. Like, hey, if you wear this whole set, you get, like, 40 plus defense or something. Oh, I was about to say, am I dead? <laughs> Hold on, can I see them from here? No. Nope. So, I can't see shit when everything's blue, by the way. That's why I wasn't sure where the fuck I was or where to go. That's why I just stood there. Actually, I was holding right so I keep moving into the wall, but apparently that made me fall down, even though there was nothing but a wall there. And no, god damn it. I forgot I had to crouch. Oh, you know what? <sighs> Fuck it. <laughs> well, ain't that the side of a police officer? Yeah, I got a cool camera thing. I don't know what the. Oh, okay, he's on fire. I mean, oh, wait. just like a police officer getting ready to go into, like, raid a room or something. He has his gun and shield ready, but just like, ah, oh, fuck it. And he just pulls out, like, a grenade yeah. from his belt. <laughs> Got him. What the oh. fuck did you jump for? <laughs> yeah. No, oh, this kind of reminds me of a conversation. <laughs> okay, sorry. Huh? I thought I was about to fall. It's not a bad guy. It's the hostage person. Why is this box... Oh, it's a TV. Wait, why is it so warm, though? It's broken! Well, it looks like they killed him. No, he's just vomiting. Alright. Leave me alone. Alright. <laughs> I got shot trying to rescue the reporter! Oh, so she's Come still stuck. Me if you need ammo. Can I, can I get some ammo now? <sighs> That's to scare you because he didn't give me ammo. Fuck this hallway! What are this? To freaking Dawn of the Dead or whatever the hell I want to say. De dead Rising. Uh, House of the Dead. There you go. <laughs> Fuck. So anyways, I was having this conversation with uh, Suyo and I'd like your input on it. Uh-huh. Okay. So this conversation was uh, that what if every race had a mount that was associated with it? Hmm. What would that mount be? Because we figure, what do Haleans have? Horses. Duh. Right? And then uh, it was like a bit tougher from there. Like, 
What could the Gorons have as mounts? Rock rollers. Don't you know? The ultimate. Um, <laughs> they are their own mounts, they just have to roll! <laughs> ah, okay, I see what you're saying. Well, at first I was thinking uh, maybe they could have... Ah, fuck! No, oh, I missed entirely, even though I hit him in the chin. Oh. Murder the pig! Murder him! I'm gonna fucking kill you, Mason! Well, this is a dangerous situation. You're not gonna help, Mr. Cameraman? I like this music. It's just one chord. I'm reloading. Oops. Wow. Wow, lady. Okay, that's straight up murder. But she doesn't like being almost killed. Good afternoon. This is Sally Taylor. Yeah, record that death. Live from the Hendrix building. My life has just been saved by heroic T0 member Nick Mason. I think I beat the level. Yeah, but that that lady just committed murder. Just God damn it, you were right. I wasn't Mason enough. Stormed the room in which I was being held and single-handed. If I'd gotten that last guy that I, I shot in the head wrong. Death, damn it. <laughs> my capturers spoke repeatedly about their hatred of this city, ah. the police, and especially T0. I wasn't able to hear everything they said, but naturally I will be fully cooperating with the police department. This is Sally Taylor, live. Thanks to Nick Mason. Hooray. I like how there's a list for unused weapons, just like it's to point out, like, you didn't use these, so ha <laughs> Right, but we were, like, talking about mounts for Gorons, and it's like, but those things are just so big, and, like, they roll around really quickly on their own. What could a mount possibly provide them? And in the end, we both agreed dragons. <laughs> like, dragons would probably be the greatest mounts for Gorons to have, because I can see a dragon being able to actually lift a Goron into the air. Yeah. And just imagine like how aerial combat would work for a Goron. They would uh, f use a dragon to fly overhead and then just dive bomb onto the area of what they're trying to attack. They're big, they're tough, they can be their own... Oh, what's the word? Death charges? That doesn't sound right. Bombs? Kind of? I don't know, I can, I guess I can see them just like, uh, dropping down with a couple of bombs with them or something like that. Well, that one Goron in Ocarina of Time was trying to roll himself with a bomb into the Goron, uh, Dodongo Cavern entrance and he this kept blowing up midway, but it didn't hurt him. Mm. So they could do that. This is Lanny York, reporting for Channel 7 News. Oh yeah, the mission in is Adam Wolf has been kidnapped. A massive gang attack a big surprise. The area mm. has killed police and civilians. <laughs> T-Zero's finest, Nick Mason... Now wearing sunglasses. ...to take control of the situation. Channel 7 reporters Sally Taylor and Bruce Burlow were among That's those what they kidnapped like. by the gang leaders. They were saved by T-Zero during an intense shootout. They are reportedly safe, but obviously shaken. Also, but not stirred. discovered from the mm -hmm. burner's attack James confirms Bond that T-Zero commander Adam Wolf has been kidnapped by the gang. No demands have been received by police. We'll bring in the more on this story as it happens. Channel 7 now brings you this special report on the development of the gangs. More than nine months ago, the first gang members appeared, masked and armed with basic weapons. They burned and murdered their way through the city in an unorganized manner. Soon after, the gangs graduated to heavy firearms and their attacks more focused and powerful. Well, now there are reports that the gangs have armed themselves with military-grade weapons and armor. Well, Channel 7 has just received confirmation that the Burners have claimed responsibility for the kidnap of T-Zero Commander Adam Wolf. They're holding him in a skyscraper in Midtown. No demands have been made. However, initial reports suggest the gangs may be setting a trap to bait T-Zero. They're en route as we speak. Channel 7, first for news in your city. Is it still a trap we blow up the whole building because M Mr. Wolf told us to do so? Is that then a reverse trap? <laughs> it's like, haha, we got you. He lowered himself out for it to be kidnapped, then we could blow up you all up. But we blew up a whole building, so oops. 
for some reason I'm just imagining a game mechanic where you're shooting your way like up this building and like the news is watching you but the thing is because they're watching you they're constantly giving away your position of where you are in the building to the gang members this mission came sooner than I expected it to I remember there being some other mission in between but that might be a bonus mission that I'm thinking of Which needs gang members arrested, but I haven't gotten the leader, dude. Oh boy, I get to do this fun time again. No reason to stop shooting. I wonder, I wonder if I aim here. Will the building come down around their rears? Mm. That was a very terrible rhyme, but I was sticking with it here. Ah. If I keep talking like this, will they think I'm queer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, one explosion got them all. I like how they were instantly combusted into fire without it touching them. Mm. It's like I'm magic or something, Edo. Hey, look, is that a gang mask down there? If I shoot it, will I get it? Is that how it works in here? I have no idea. It's a rail shooter now. Well, while well, you're out shooting, let's go back to our talk about mounts in Zelda. Alrighty. Okay. Zoras get dolphins. <laughs> Wait, why do they need dolphins for? <laughs> Who's Jane Delaney? Should I stop shooting to not so I can know who that is? Oh, <laughs> whoops. I wonder what's happening over in that building where there's innocent civilians that I'm shooting at. Hey, that's not fair. Put those guns away, buddy. Mm. So what about Zora mounts? Okay, but uh, we didn't finish off of uh, what Gorons would have. Oh, okay. Yeah, Gorons would have the dragons, and we figured they could just, like, you know, dive bomb and drop. Oh! I didn't see her there, because I probably didn't stop shooting, like I th told myself. Should I stop shooting so I could see where she is? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw a thing, I was like, was that a bad guy hiding? <laughs> Oops. Alright. Right, so I figure like uh like uh, we figured they would have dragon mounts, they would just drop the dive bomb the enemies, and that also that the dragons could do like uh drive bys but with fire breath and the gorons could just tank that stuff. Yeah. Like you know, that seems awesome. Now as far as the Zoras go, I believe we were a bit undecided on that. Mainly because, you know, there wasn't much that a, uh, a mount could do underwater that a Zora couldn't do, since they're already such great swimmers and stuff like that. Yeah. So, I was thinking maybe something that would allow them to kind of go on land better than not. Like, okay. uh, one idea that I thought of was, like, a large manta ray of some sort. Hmm. You know, something that would like they could just sit on that yeah I could glide through the water but for you know whatever reason like it could actually go on top of land and float like just hover above it and then maybe it could like use its tail to sting enemies with electricity or something maybe even some other like stupid gimmick mechanic to where if you leave the manta ray mount in an area it will bury like itself underground so that when something comes along it will just like spring up and sting them i see hmm. yeah but uh you know uh, what Sue i was thinking was octopus <laughs> you know like uh, who doesn't want to go on to land with their mighty octopus mount that'd be pretty great <laughs> oh, I see you like octopus, man. Uh, compared to... There we go. Mr. Officer, can you please stop doing that and just help me? Right. And, uh... Well, yeah, that's... Got him. Give me a freaking thing! I was waiting for it. Damn, Jesus. So, do you use those automatically when she hands them to you? Or yes. can you actually... Oh, okay. You can't just hold on to one for later. Nope, that'd be great. <laughs> I'm going up the ladder. Going up the... There we go. Hmm. 
I wasn't sure if I should tell you that there's a Zora person that kind of looks like they have a Manta Ray head, so I thought that might be weird if they try to ride Manta Rays. Mm. Although that would uh, go into a bit more of my other theory. Which is? Like, the Zoras, like, uh, actually did, uh, what's the word? Like, evolve a little? That evolve into ocean creatures to better survive out there. Which is why when they came back, when they came back on mainland, that they look so different compared to they did to how originally. Because it's a sort of evolution. Yeah. I mean, they all are sharks now, so I didn't think about that. All of them? Well, except for that stingray one, or manta ray, or whatever, but at the same time, that's like the only one that's a manta ray for some reason. Yeah. But in general, they look like more ocean-based creatures than before. Yes, more than just fish person like generic design. <laughs> Are you okay there, being exploded like that? Stop exploding everywhere! I need to knock out some of you. Fuck. Thank you. Jeez, that's all I asked for. It's gonna be hard to incapacitate 20 of them. Where do I go? Is this the end of the world? The end of the world is this one building. These are just automatically opening. <laughs> If only, huh? Now wait, if they did, then they'd open for no no elevator, then you'd fall out and die. Mm, right. Okay, so, like, you know, those are the Zoras. Uh, just put whatever magical uh, sea creature you want there and, like, uh, let them ride that around. Mm. So, uh, then they raised up the question, what about the retail? Ah! Oh, I got him. They are awful shots, I must say. Have you have you noticed this? They pop out and then like they they can't hit me. I wonder what's the correct way to fall down. Not this one. Yeah, let me just shock your nuts a little bit. Just, just shock your nuts a little bit. I mean, it's hitting the whole body, but it just shock your nuts a little bit. Is that the gang leader? Damn it! Oh, he's tied as a hostage over there. Hey! N no! Knock out already! There you go. It's a little tougher to knock out than the rest. Well done, Mason. We can get valuable information out of He's faking it! He's not actually tied to the wall. What an asshole. Well, hey, Daniel's free the construction worker. Okay, how do I do that? Oh. Hmm. Okay. Fix it! Fix it, dude! Oh, okay. Okay. Right. Cuff him. <laughs> <laughs> What now? We took someone up to the roof. I can unlock the elevators if you can get me to the control box. Well, we were just at the elevators and they seem to be fine. Ah, fuck. Can I heal now? Ugh, excuse me. Can I heal now? I need to heal. Are we at the control box? Is this it? No? Yes? No? Guess not. Apparently not. So yeah, when it came to the Rito, I was like, what the heck can you give to mounts to creatures that can already fly around everywhere in the sky? Bigger birds, so when they get old and can't fly. I'm assuming I a lot I kind of went that route, too. Is that my first hey, idea... I can help you with that. Go on. My first idea was... Uh, the Pegasus. Oh. Yeah, a horse with wings. If only we had a Pegasus. Mm, well. That existed in Hyrule. Why not? Because there's never been a Pegasus. All we have is the legend of their boots. <laughs> Still want to see that appear in a uh, 3D game that's not a top-down game made out of 3D isometric views. The Pegasus boots. Mm. Okay. Uh, so... Like, yeah, like I was thinking they could do a Pegasus, and like the advantage of that would be, well, it's still technically a horse. It could still run pretty fast on land, so at least there's the advantage in that. A land creature, they can take to the air like they can, but still allow some maneuverability on the ground. Well, then I was thinking, uh, what about a griffin? <coughs> hmm. I was thinking, what purpose could a griffin serve? I couldn't really think of one. <laughs> I was just thinking, uh, maybe a griffin could help them climb mountains when they don't decide to just fly up them. But yeah, that could be nice. Maybe, suppose, 
I don't know, shot in the dock here. And then uh, it's like I was thinking, okay, well, let's put those on the back burner for now. But what about the other races? <coughs> As, oh, right, I forgot. Like, the very first race. I'll get this guy out of here. You find Wolf. All right. Hey, good luck, man. Nick, we think Wolf might be in the upper part of the shaft. You'll need to use the elevator in order to gain access to the upper level, where we believe Wolf might be being held. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I was thinking, uh. No, no, I was thinking. Okay. Do you consider the Shika a race? Yes. Okay, that. Now right. that they can have more than one person to, re to represent all of them. Instead of just the one Impa? Well, that was a clusterfuck of bullshit and a half. Hopefully, the checkpoint wasn't before. It was. No, I'm kidding. Anyway, yeah, before Impa was the only one to represent everything. Okay. Because, uh, well, I was thinking that if we're talking about the Sheikah, then there's only one mount that they could properly have. Lord of the Mountain? No. <laughs> no. They could all use the Lord of the Mountain. <laughs> Giant frogs. Oh, of course. Because they are ninjas now. Yes. They are ninjas. And, like, have you seen the statues of the frogs just spread all throughout their village that has the Shika eye on their belly? Yeah, they do have that, don't they? Yeah, I was thinking, that's cute. Like, a uh, really nice design and stuff like that. So, what if they're actually able to summon, like, you know, giant frogs to act as their mounts and stuff? Be hopping around all over the place. Then, get, then they'd have Gamabunta. That's the only answer. They'd have Gamabunta from Naruto. Oh, okay. Specifically, that Gamabunta from just Naruto. <laughs> So all these frogs uh, carry around swords on their backs. Sure, why not? I mean, ninjas and Gamma Buta. Hmm. Oh wow, I didn't think I'd get him with that. <laughs> I was like, I can't see shit! And then I got him, and then I won. I won the game, Adol, this is the end. This is the credits right here. <laughs> Who's throwing dynamite? I don't need no dinamite right now. Can you please not do more damage than your bullets by punching me in the face? It kind of feels fucking retarded, by the way. <laughs> I find that weird in any game. It's like, well, you punch him in the face, that means you've done more damage than any bullets could have done. You have instantly killed this man. Ow, oh, that was talking about a shot in the dark. I just thought a head might be there. Eh! Oh, okay. Oh, it still did the damage. Great. That's always fun. That was always fun when you stopped the attack, but it did 99% of the damage. I hope that was you blowing yourselves up by accident. Oh, fuck, where are they now? Jesus. Okay, I didn't even see them. As far as races go, that just leaves uh, Korok slash Kokiri, doesn't it? Yes. We all know there's just going to be something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a little kerfluffled right now with this problematic not dying here again. Mm. Right. No, I didn't like, get more uh, health. We didn't have any time to discuss like, uh, what they could possibly have. Oh boy. Damn, I actually got him. Uh, right, but off the top of my head, I was imagining maybe they could ride deers or something like that. Yeah, that's a good one. Forest critters and things. And uh, at one point I was thinking, oh, they should totally ride like rabbits or something, but... <laughs> maybe for the Koroks, but the Kokir might be a little too big for that. Koroks yeah. are quite tiny. Oh, good health person. I need you. So that's what I saw going over here. I thought I saw a shadow of a monster, but it was just a person. Hi. Hi. How the fuck did you... No, how did you get here? There's all these locks and shit, and you didn't have a helicopter. Wow, looks like you could do some help. This is the last one, okay? That's all I've got. You wow, so she got up here ahead of me somehow. I didn't see how. I thought you might need patching up, so I had Mike airlift me up. Ah, uh, okay. Uh. <laughs> well, I could have given you a ride, too, huh? Yeah, why did you guys not think to help me out at all in any kind of way? Oh look, I need three more. Alright, now I need two more. Fucking hell. Quit doing that thing where you run away from me. You know, that one. Yeah, that, stop it. Quit doing that. You know what? You know fucking what? <laughs> Just stun grenade. There, I should have done that earlier. Get three for one. See, now my objective is complete forever. Why use the taser when I have this option? Why am I stupid? Ada, why am I stupid? 
I didn't know you had a stun grenade. Yeah, well, I keep forgetting I own them. Personally. I, I, I forked over my own money and for T-Zero. <laughs> Store-bought stun grenades. <laughs> you see, the anti-terrorist store- Hey, that looks very helpful over there. It's Adam Wolf needing help. But I can't shoot because I'll hit him. What do you think I'm doing? Maybe I should let the cheeseburgers, though. How the fuck did you do that? Huh. Fucking magic man. Or super jumping. No, that's magic. Never mind. Hi. Uh-oh. Time to do this shit. This one should be more like the first stage where they just kept running away after getting shot in the head. Got him. Whoa! Jesus! I can't... Ah, uh, fuck, I can't see. Is it supposed to be? Okay. Okay, it was deliberate so he could run away. Ah. Can I not reload? Okay, I guess I'm at full ammo. There we go. Okay, it's like, where did he go? Hey, okay. not as weird as that metal ladder. Metal what? Metal ladder that just, like, uh, went oh. straight up. You think the shield should stop working at some point? That's an order! Mason, get him. Like he's just like kill him, damn it! It's like I'm trying, but it's like he's made out of unkillinium. <laughs> you ever heard of that, sir? No. I like how the mask glow in the dark for no reason. Hmm. Mason, get him. Ooh, the bright moon. Can't get too close, otherwise I'll he'll kill him or whatever. We learned that from the last time we opened the door, and then Hoss has got shot, and I didn't even know what happens. <laughs> it's like game over, fucking shit. <laughs> Shut up! I'm doing it! Mm. It's very nice of him not to shoot bullet holes right where I would not be able to see him if I had those blocked. Right. Although, like, uh, he's not close to being defeated yet. I mean, he hasn't put himself in a precarious situation to where it's obvious he's yeah. gonna die if he takes a bullet wound. If this is the one I think it should be, oh man, you just you wait to see how he dies. Mm. Ow, what the fuck's happening? I do wonder what it could be, because they already did the whole fell into helicopter blades. So they can't just do that again. We didn't actually see that happen, we just got the idea. Oh, he shut the stairs down, and I just can't be fucked to save myself from this problem. Huh. You having problem there? Guess so. Alright, now what do I do? Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck do I do now? I can't climb, but I can climb. Scaffolding! Just oh. You did not pull a hitman and fall off the building. That's a weird skybox. Yeah. That moon is too big. I don't know oh. if you noticed. Uh, speaking of Hitman, did you hear about how Square Enix dropped it? No. IO withdrew, or Square Enix withdrew from like, IO uh, Interactive. Like, yeah, like uh, Square Enix dropped IO or something, which meant that, like, you know, Hitman's in danger. But from what I hear, Hitman's been saved. I just don't know how. Well, it's. That oh, wait, here we go. Something's happening. He's gonna elbow him super hard. <laughs> there Doesn't we go. Doesn't count as unauthorized force? No, because he's dead already. Wait, what the fuck? Where'd you where, go? Where? Oh. Oh. You okay? Thanks for the help, Mason. I knew I could count on you. With these bastards out of the way, things should get a lot safer around here. Yep. Sir, are you okay? Here, let me tend to your wounds. What? Stop your fussing, woman. I'm fine. <laughs> I want a full report on my desk by seven. <laughs> Mason, let's go. We've got work to do. I was trying to figure out why the screen kept flipping in and out with the cinematic bar thing going on. That was weird. Yes, it was. This is Sally Taylor reporting live for Stop your fussing, woman! I'm an Iron Man! Hmm. Well, I did it. I beat the stage. And with just enough time to spare. Actually, no, not really. It's the end of the episode. Uh. But let's see that thing I unlocked for next time. Yeah. So, yeah, that wasn't the mission I thought it was. You have unlocked Emergency. Thompson Street. Oh no, Thompson Street. I wonder if that's the level I thought I should have played by now out of, out of the emergencies. You Ooh, have... extra shotgun. I don't use those. G give me more pistol. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm doing pretty good. I've gone through the whole mission without running out of ammo for it. Da da da. Look, everything's on fire at Angel Heights. And there's the Thompson Street where we gotta save that Vip again. 
Ah. All the Vips, they keep getting captured, and it's like, oh shit, the city's gonna fall down. Oh, it's so vital to that city. Uh-huh, that's how. That's why they're a vitally important person. They're not very important anymore. They're vital. Mm -hmm. well, I guess we'll have to see you guys next time. See you later, everyone. With just more generic shooting gun action, policeman. Bye.